Hi Techie guys, I am Nand Kishor Swami and today we would be learning about uh, uh, our understanding, basically understanding the difference between the IT pro process automation and the robotic process automation. Uh, the, the, the similarity between traditional IT process automation and robotic process automations are just uh, that automation both are the software product that can uh, interface and interact with application on behalf of human worker so it uh, both are used to create a software interface that will interact with the software other software application as like human operator will operate them both are designed to improve efficiency boost productivity and uh, cut cost although the way they are uh, ultimately are uh, used is significantly different additionally additionally both IT process automation and uh, robotic process automation can be integrated with uh, existing legacy system to further enhance operation uh, either on the basis of more uh, sophisticated level while both RPA and uh, traditional IT process automation operate under similar concept the difference typically lies in how it is used as well as their complexity so let's understand the difference now despite the name RPA has nothing to do with physical robot so when we say robotic process automation we it comes in uh, our mind that it might be a kind of physical robot and doing some physical stuff so that's not the case it refers to software robots which are programmed to use computer application and other programs uh, in the same way as a human operator would they don't necessarily complete tasks in the most efficient way but they are easier to integrate uh, into the existing business process uh, presently robotic process automation is primarily uh, being used uh, uh, more extensively at the end user level for instance uh, office workers that may not uh, well versed in programming and other complex IT tasks mm -hmm. uh, can leverage the RPA for many of their day-to-day -day tasks uh, to automate um, this can significantly uh, boost their productivity by allowing them to focus on more critical job uh, functions that cannot be automated so say for example if uh, there is a business process uh, they can automate partial business process and they can uh, more focus on the critical one that they cannot automate with the RP tools in other hand I traditional IT process automation is based on same concept however it tend to be a uh, leverage primarily for more complex workflows RP is a uh, tend to be used for little less complex one uh, kind of repetitive and boring task uh, and uh, IT automation is uh, tend to be utilize it uh, more complex workflow for instance IT process automation might automate incident management in a way that handle incoming alert analyze it verifies and prioritize them notify the appropriate uh, parties and then upon the uh, desired action being taken uh, complete the workflow and close the ticket this is much more complex process and is usually uh, overseen by experienced IT professional of course this is uh, uh, just one of many complex scenario that automation can be uh, used for an IT department and the major difference between RPA and ITPA is RPA is uh, basically uh, designed to keep in mind uh, of uh, automating the end user task the similarly or uh, say for example if uh, there is a kind of repetitive and boring task copy and pasting data from one application to another one so this could be easily automated uh, using RPA uh, and uh, the person who would design this automation would not require much 
technical skills they can just have a normal um, um, normally how to use the uh, RPA tool and they can simply design a solution for that uh, with compared to the ITPA is more behind the screen automation so when we say behind the screen automation it is not necessarily exactly uh, doing the same step uh, which usually uh, user does it can also uh, uh, leverage the DLLs of uh, end users application say for example if something that need to be copied from Excel spreadsheet and put it into the web application then IT automation can leverage the uh, DLL of Internet Explorer and the Excel spreadsheet or the Microsoft Office DLL utilize those DLL and just behind the screen it can do the all the tasks but the RPA will normally like user will call, go to the Excel spreadsheet copy the data paste it on the uh, uh, Internet Explorer so that kind of stuff would be done by the RPA and the example of uh, uh, RPA tools are WorkFusion which is uh, a Java based application another one is Pega Robotic, Automation Anywhere and UiPath so these three are built on the .NET so basically all these tools are um, uh, build on the IT automation but it's wrapped up so these are the wrapped up um, tools which enable the end user which doesn't uh, who doesn't have the more technical knowledge uh, to automate their day-to-day -day tasks while uh, IT automation is utilized to more complex uh, automating uh, more complex work uh, using the dynamic link libraries and um, just doing the stuff behind the screen so now the question comes which solution is right for you so simply uh, there is no simple answer to this question it would be uh, ultimately required uh, through need needs analysis to determine what features would be required so you need to get the answer of uh, the couple of questions like uh, uh, does your business process have a kind of boring and repetitive tasks like copying pasting data from uh, one place to another place running the batch files or those kind of things um, and what is the complexity of the business process so you need to find out the answer of group question and based on the answer of these questions uh, you can bring narrowing down your options until you determine the right product for uh, your need so that's it uh, for today's tutorial thanks for watching